Hello. I uh, wanted to make a video. I'm at my mom's doing some yard work. And there's a huge park-like yard raking. Uh, it was Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. So happy Thanksgiving belated to whoever is relevant. Um, so I spent the weekend with family and stuff, Thanksgiving. Uh, stressful time here, everybody, well, everywhere you go in general, because, uh, it's, um, elections and all that, and they're all stressed out about who they're going to elect and who you shouldn't elect for, and the debates and crap like that, and I don't care, because none of it's real, but it's really hard not to throw my two cents in about reality, and, uh, they're talking like that, so I just got to sit there with my foot in my mouth and have a beer or whatever. <laughs> but I deal with it, right? I hang out. It, was, it went good considering. It's actually, you know, life's a lot easier. It's a lot less stressful now when you actually realize stuff and let go. And my only stress is keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> but I do. Um, even over at my uh, daughter's house, playing a video game here, and. Uh, find that's supposed to induce stress now too on everybody like uh son-in-law's playing a simple um it's like a space game you go planet to planet mining the thing is when you're going up to your ship or you're going to another part of the fucking universe solar system whatever galaxy there's like this screen and going through like a warp or whatever you can't hit skip you can't fucking speed it up you know, it's worse than the old school loading screens. You can't, it, it, it's stressful just looking at this goddamn screen. And you can't skip it. It says, it has a countdown saying two and a half minutes till you get to your destination. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Technology so far ahead, you can't play with someone in the same room. You have to play with a stranger, someone across the fucking world. You can't fucking, you can't skip a damn screen to get to the... I miss gaming, but I don't miss that shit, I tell you that. Um, <clears throat> uh, I wanted to touch on some residue. Uh, uh, Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, I'm adamant about this. I know for, like, it was distinct green and red. It wasn't fucking gray and red. It wasn't fucking black and red. It was green. I used to make comic books, Jason vs. Freddy, way before they thought of it, in like 87, when I was a kid, you know, I always thought, fuck, Kruger's got like, you know, it's like the ugly Christmas sweater, I always thought that, right, I wouldn't have thought that if it was black and red, <laughs> I used to draw the comics, like, fuck, I wish I still had them, um, what else, uh, oh yeah, um, I was watching, like, videos on the weekend, like, uh, I don't know if it was Money Bags or Guy Fox. But the, the Twin Towers got these, uh, horizontal lines. Split up the towers into thirds, pretty much, right? Uh, this is a change, a new change, recent change. Guarantee it. And that's because I look at them quite frequently. Um, it's like, uh... Whenever I deem anyone fucking worthy or they might listen to introduce them to the actual reality, you know, I, uh, I just do this search. You guys should try it. Actually, it works good. Um, it's a good little game. It's good for a laugh. Works every time. And the residue's still there. You just go, you just search, uh, Statue of Liberty, Twin Towers. And then you click on images. And I call it the near far game. You click through the images and it'll be near far near far the perspectives are so out of whack if you want to believe that uh it's like 80 percent of the pictures you're looking at are photoshopped then you have fun in your dream reality because that's just not feasible most of these are legit photos legit residue still around and it's hilarious you just the perspectives are i, I see three or four different perspectives because we all know it's multiple realities not freaking just one or two um but it's amusing you know but uh it's always made me wonder hmm this has been around i've been doing this since i first learned of the mandela effect um 
Yet, when I very first heard of it, uh, the one of the ones that fucked me up was the JK thing, and I looked that up, and at that time, I could find video of both events, the current reality and my memory, and I could find photos of both events. And, you know, I've always said, technology's ahead here. The one I remembered was black and white and grainy, and the newer one, this current one was uh, like fucking damn near high def. Like it was, it's ridiculous. <laughs> In color, of course. Um, anyways, showing people this frequently, monthly, for over the last fucking three, four years, um, I know those lines weren't there because I look at it all the time. Very recent, within the last two months. Um. Okay, so yeah, like that. So I would show people the JFK thing, right? And uh, and then poof, gone. Not a trace of it anywhere. The only trace of it is that freaking JFK museum with the original car. So, or well, the car I remember. So um, some residue sticks around, some doesn't. Sometimes I think just the freaking fact that we realize it's there and we're looking at it actually manifests it out of reality <laughs> I do believe that actually because a lot of times you think of something and then bang it's everywhere for Mandela or yeah think of residue and poof it's gone after you've seen it you know but not until you thought it right so there's something to that um what else I don't know <laughs> that's it I guess throw that out there um talking to my probation officer talking to my lawyer i'll figure out by the end of the month what's gonna happen with me i'll make some more videos i'll try to anyway and uh i'll let you know if i'm going away for a while <laughs> regardless um i love you all and teach their own